Well, it was certainly the D day for the markets today. Yes, that's what the traders are calling it. Three stocks in focus that we're also going to be discussing, which is Dmart, Dr. Reddy's, and Davis Labs. But while we saw a significant uh, moment in these individual stocks. The benchmark index Nifty remain almost unchanged owing to the recent run up and lack of fresh triggers. So the Nifty index um, ended almost unchanged for the third straight session. Now it uh, did fall below that 9100 level at uh, a specific point in the day, but recovered to end at 9121. Agam, uh, we are seeing significant resistance building up 9200. Uh, yes, we are. So what's really happened is that. Uh, Given this is the second straight day, we're looking at retreating uh, indices. We've seen a little more build up towards the short side. Uh, when it comes to the open interest in Nifty, well, we've seen an increase towards as much as 4% towards open interest. So there is some selling pressure there. Uh, we're looking at a lot of resistance building up in 9,200. As you can see here in the build up in the 9,200 and the 9,300 calls, some wind and winding when it comes to the 9,000 put as well, uh, indicated by this fall out here. But uh, once again, the range continues to remain with, with, with the you know between 8,800 and 9,200 on the upside, about a 400 point range based on maximum open interest. So nothing really has changed there, but there is certainly some amount of consolidation going on as far as the Nifty Yes, you're going back to consolidation mode now. Yes. Uh, but when it comes to the Nifty gainers, it was Grassum Industries and ITC which were um, the leaders there. ITC now extending its winning streak for the sixth straight session. On the other hand, Idea Cellular um, continues to correct with shares uh, dropping nearly 14% since the Monday's merger announcements. Uh, the 13 observations that the company's Duvada plant inspection earlier this month returned to haunt the Dr. Reddy's stock, which fell as much as 4.9% today. And the share price is about 2600 now is at its uh, near three-year low. So that's your first D stock, Dr. Reddy's. The second D stock is yet another pharma stock, DV's Labs, which received an import alert uh, at its uh, WISAC Unit 2 from the US FDA. This follows a December inspection where there were five observations, pretty critical and serious in nature. Uh, having said that, the stock has already corrected from about um, 1200 levels in December uh, back then to about 640 now. Is there a silver lining? Yes. Uh, the US FDA has exempted about 10 products uh, from this import alert. 10 products are um, quite a sizable, a sizable and uh, key in terms of revenues for the company. Uh, so with this exemption, analysts believe that the revenue at risk for the company now uh, stands at about 10 to 15 percent as uh, compared to 25 percent earlier. So that's your uh, second D stock uh, and that also happens to be the biggest loser on the Nifty 500 ago. It certainly does and once again the Nifty breath uh, or for, for that matter the, the market breath in the broader markets is not been very encouraging for the second straight day. So we're just looking at one gainer as against two losers. I'm going to start off with uh, the losers as Shraddha has already, already mentioned we're looking at DV's lab coming off as much as 20 percent. But it's followed by Bombay Rayon, which is down 6%. We have future consumer, well, on the back of DMART, and we will be talking about that soon. Uh, down as much as 4.4%. SL Pro Pack, Shrey Infrastructure, as well as Simplex Infra, all these counters losing well around 4%. NLC India is the stock that stands out when it comes to gainers, up 14%. We're looking at gains in Eros International and Prestige Estates, as well as Zlearn, all of them gaining well over five and a half to six percent. We have Bliss GVS Pharma as well. It's bringing a surprise here up as much as six percent. So future lifestyles actually gaining on the back of the DMART listing in comparison to and in contrast with future consumer which has been losing. So you know a mixed cues as far as the future group is concerned but I am going to come down to the third D and that is DMART. So when you supermarket has had a super super listing. Yes, it closed at 641. That is what 114 percent above its issue price of rupees 299. Right. On the back of uh, good uh, subscription numbers, it opened at a premium of 102 percent. Right. But guess what? It's not the best retail stock on the market. Uh, in 2007, V2 Retail, that is Vishal Mart, which was earlier known as Vishal right. Mart, listed at a premium of 75 percent to its issue price, and it closed 179 percent above its issue price of rupees 270. Right. And today, 
on the back of this uh, uh, avenue supermarket is dmart uh, holding company uh, listing we saw a weakness among other retail stocks like future retail vmart aditya birla fashion they were all down in the range of 1 to 10% Okay, so all of these were seeing profit booking right, now. Right. Uh, again, there's a one more piece of interesting stat that I have here. The um, market capitalization of Avenue Supermarts now stands at close to 40,000 crores. And uh, guess what? That's more than the combined market capitalization of Reliance ADAG companies. So if you talk about Reliance Capital, Reliance Communication and Reliance Infra, the three biggest companies, right. uh, it just meets that. Of course, if you count Reliance Defense, uh, it adds up to about 44,000 crores, but not bad for day one. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, that also brings me to the subscription numbers of yet another IPO, CL Educate. That was subscribed about 70% uh, um, as far as, uh, as latest as 2.30 p.m. So, uh, secondary markets, um, a sort of dull day, but uh, a lot of activity uh, picking up as far as the primary markets are concerned. Uh, and that brings us to uh, the end of this session. Thank you for watching Bloomberg.